like a diver was a freedom rider. She didn't care if the whole world looked. Joan of Arc with the Lord to guide her. She was a sister who really could. Isadora was the first bra burner. Angel that she showed up. The country was falling apart. Betsy Ross got it all sold up. And then there's Maud. Then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. That uncompromising, enterprising, anything but tranquilizer. Right, right on, on Maud. Walter, now come on. We're going to be on the air in 15 minutes. I want to rehearse this okay, number. Okay, okay. Okay. I hit it, Bob. We are just a couple of song and dance men. I'm the song. I'm the dance. Ladies, knock off the U was. Look, Walter, it is such a simple step that I showed you. Now, please watch it again. How graceful. How aesthetic. Don't I remind you of Shirley MacLaine and the Turning Point? A little bit more like Seattle Slough and the Prickness. Walter, why can't you cooperate? Walter, this has to be perfect so that we can raise enough money to send little baby Sally to see that orthopedic specialist in Switzerland. Maybe he'll be able to find out why she suddenly lost the use of her little legs. Come on now. Here's baby Sally. Ah, oh, look at this courageous little child. A prisoner in her wheelchair, the sweet adorable... Ah! Sorry, baby Sally. No! <laughs> That's all right, honey. Accidents will happen. Like when you ran over my foot yesterday. <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> oh, I swear she did that on purpose. Come on, oh. more. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You're probably right. Walter, will you excuse me? <laughs> Reggie said I could do it. I mean, why pay the man $15,000 as a professional advisor and then not listen to him? Hey, my recitation is dynamite. Wait till you see me rehearse it. We are paying you $15,000 for what? Well, that's my fee for the telethon. I have an ironclad contract with you. Lovely people. <laughs> Reggie, isn't it a little out of the ordinary to charge $15,000 to help a crippled child? Yes. I was going to charge twenty, but your cause touched my heart. <laughs> you old softy. Oh. <laughs> Maude, have you uh, memorized that beautiful speech I wrote no, for you? No, Reggie, I might as well tell you I'm not going to do it. I don't like it. It makes me sound like a, a combination of Amy Semple McPherson and the Kingfish. It's perfect. I mean, that's how you get people to give money for a kid in a wheelchair. Make them feel guilty they can walk. <laughs> shh, shh, Arthur's number. <laughs> feeling. Nothing but feeling. No one has more feelings than his feelings for you. The country doctor, though stooped and bent and gray of hair, the country doctor's always there. Through rain and sleet and blowing snow, the country doctor's on the go. Through swollen rivers, his horses swim and when help is needed for pregnant women. <laughs> he flicks the whip, the pace to quicken, Though he knows he'll be paid with only a chicken. Feeling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feeling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feeling. Whoa. Well, wasn't that something? I'll say it was something. It's the first time I've ever seen one horse's head followed by two horses' patooties. <laughs> Baby Sally said that 
Since this is a comedy, she has something that she thinks is funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is that, dear? Hmm? What? What is it, dear? <laughs> Philip, get her out of here. <laughs> Mort, Mort, we've got one minute to air. You got to rehearse your pitch. Look, Reggie, Could, please, I... Mort, please, just trust me. I mean, you got to do it at least once before you know we go oh, on the air. All right. All right. All right. Well, Mort, make them feel that their money will give you the power to bring about a miracle. Hmm? Here, now just stand right, right here, right here. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Tuckahoeans, we are doing this telethon tonight for the benefit of one person, one tiny little person who is a prisoner in a wheelchair, the victim of a mysterious malady. That's where the chorus comes in. Her name is Baby Sally. She is that lovely, talented, courageous little child who has danced her way into our hearts. Now, if we open our hearts and our pocketbooks, we can make enough money to send little baby Sally to Switzerland, where specialists can put the magic back into those little legs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, with your help and your love, we can say, Baby Sally, dance again! Rise! Rise out of that wheelchair and dance! Dance for Tuckahoe! Dance for America! Dance for the world! And Sylvia. <laughs> oh, listen to that sweet sound of those phones are ringing, huh? Reggie, huh. we just got a pledge from <clears throat> from a little six-year-old boy in Terrytown for eighty-five dollars. Oh. He got the money from his daddy's wallet. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's beautiful. A child stealing from his parents to help another child. That's America to me. <laughs> All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a rare film clip of Baby Sally before tragedy struck at her tap shoes. <laughs> I personally can't watch because it it, it tears my my heart out. I... <laughs> Well, what did I tell you? Almost eight grand in pledges already. <laughs> Gee, what you're doing is deceitful. Baby Sally is cured. We have to stop the show. Obviously, the little girl couldn't walk because she was suffering from an hysterical paralysis. Now, I have just examined her, and she's perfectly all right now. You have got to stop this show, or you'll be guilty of taking money under false pretenses. We all will. And I will have no part of that. And I agree totally with Arthur. But remember, I have a contract with you lovely people. Neither we raise that money through the telethon or my $15,000 fee will have to come out of your pockets. <laughs> On with the show! <laughs> Remember, for every $5 pledge, you receive a pie of your choice from Debbie's Acute uh, Pie Pie Shop. <laughs> All right, now a little quick look at our thermometer tells me that we've uh, already received about $7,800 in pledges, and that is terrific! <laughs> and speaking of pledges uh, and thermometers, <laughs> our next number is with Carol Trainer and the girls. It's guaranteed to make everybody's temperature rise, girls. <laughs> I love you. Never know how 
much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Reggie, I know you have us trapped with this contract, but would you actually perpetrate a fraud just to collect your $15,000? I'd do anything for $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have an idea. What? Well, you cured Baby Sally when you were rehearsing your speech and you said, Dance, Baby Sally, dance! Baby Sally jumped out of her wheelchair and started to dance. You performed a miracle. You had the power to get her out of that wheelchair. So... Maybe you have the power to put her back in that wheelchair. <laughs> well, she only has to be paralyzed until the end of the show. Vivian, have you been sniffing that wheat germ again? Just a second. She's given me a better idea, Maud. After we've raised enough money to pay my fee, then we could... Well, you could bring baby Sally back out in the wheelchair, do the same speech again, and she'll get up and dance, and then we'll recreate the whole miracle on television. The audience will think the Peloton cured baby Sally. <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah, we do it all the time on television. It's called instant replay. <laughs> Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, unable to get out of this wheelchair. <laughs> Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by If you smile <laughs> Through your tears and sorrow Smile And maybe tomorrow oh, You'll see the <laughs> Come shining through for you Light up your face with gladness Hide every trace of sadness Although a tear <laughs> May be ever so near That's the time You must keep on trying Smile What's the use of crying You'll see that life is still worthwhile if you just smile <laughs> light up your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness although a tear may be ever so near that's the time you must keep on trying smile what's the use of crying you'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just
$15,000 mark. We've collected my fee. <laughs> All right, now let's everyone get ready for the finale. Maud, prepare to recreate your miracle. Look, I will not have anything to do with a phony miracle. Well, then I'm just going to have to sue you for every cent you got. Wipe out your savings? Put a lien on your house? Not my house. Not, that's, that's all I have. It's lasted me through four husbands. <laughs> oh, don't let him take away our house. Come on, the guy wants a miracle. Give him a miracle. I do. I can't. I can't. Everyone, places for the phenomenon. Hey, uh, <laughs> well, now that money is rolling in and the pies are rolling out. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, our entire ensemble tells you what this telethon is all about. I hit it! Gotta dance. Broadway rhythm, it's got me. Everybody dance, dance. Dance, oh, goody. I'll go home and get my panties. You go home and get your scanties, and away we'll go. Ooh. I'm off, I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle off the buffalo. No, don't ask me. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance, madam, with you. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Charleston, Charleston, made in Carolina, some friends, some friends, I'll make another fire. Dancing in the dark, <laughs> the tune and I'm dancing in the I have you, love, and we can face the music together. Let's face the music and take a little one step, two step, three step. Come a little closer, please. Like a rose that blows in every breeze. Take a little one step, two step, three step. Gentlemen, with your help and your love, we can make Baby Sally dance again. Dance, Baby Sally. Dance, dance for Tuckahoe. Dance for America. Dance for the world. It's a miracle! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I can't go on with this. This... This is no miracle. This is a fraud. Uh, baby Sally started moving before we went on the air. But Reggie insisted that we continue so that he could collect his $15,000 fee. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what he gets in the name of sweet charity. What? You are a dumb person. Television is no place to be telling the truth. I mean, it's no... <laughs> What you've done, Big Mouth Reggie, can sue us. You can't call my friend a Big Mouth. <laughs> you can't do that to my friend.
recorded on videotape before a studio audience. <laughs> If you We've collected my fee. <laughs> All right, now let's everyone get ready for the finale. Maud, prepare to recreate your miracle. Look, I will not have anything to do with a phony miracle. Well, then I'm just going to have to sue you for every cent you got. Wipe out your savings? Put a lien on your house? Not my house. Not, that's, that's all I have. It's lasted me through four husbands. <laughs> oh, don't let him take away our house. Come on, the guy wants a miracle. Give him a miracle. I do. I can't. I can't. Everyone, places for the finale. Well, now that money is rolling in and the pies are rolling out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our entire ensemble tells you what this telethon is all about. I hit it. Gotta dance. Broadway rhythm, it's got me. Everybody dance, dance, dance. Oh, goody, I'll go home and get my panties. You go home and get your scanties, and away we'll go. Ooh. I'm off the gun, shuffle, shuffle off the buffalo. No, don't ask me. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance, madam, with you. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Charleston, Charleston, made in Carolina. Some friends, some friends, I'll make another fire. Dancing in the dark, <laughs> the tune and I'm dancing in the dark. <laughs> And we can face the music together. We like this. Here's <laughs> you can't afford to me. And then you glide and you slide, keeping close to my side. Oh boy, let's go, boy. That, that music's tickling every toe, boy. Take a little kick. A wide and free step, then a little one step, two step, three step, every little step means we love you. We love you. Every little step means we love you. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, with your help and your love, we can make baby Sally dance again. Dance, baby Sally. Dance, dance for Tuckahoe. Dance for America. Dance for the world. It's a miracle. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I can't go on with this. This, this. this is no miracle. This is a fraud. Uh, baby Sally started moving before we went on the air. 
But Reggie insisted that we continue so that he could collect his $15,000 fee. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what he gets in the name of sweet charity. What? You are a dumb person. Television is no place to be telling the truth. I mean, it's no... What you've done, Big Mouth Reggie can sue us. You can't call my friend a Big Mouth. <laughs> you can't do that to my friend. recorded on videotape before a studio audience. If you We've collected my fee. <laughs> All right, now let's everyone get ready for the finale. Maud, prepare to recreate your miracle. Look, I will not have anything to do with a phony miracle. Well, then I'm just going to have to sue you for every cent you got. Wipe out your savings? Put a lien on your house? Not my house. Not, that's, that's all I have. It's lasted me through four husbands. <laughs> oh, don't let him take away our house. Come on, the guy wants a miracle. Give him a miracle. I do. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Well, now that money is rolling in and the pies are rolling out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our entire ensemble tells you what this telethon is all about. I hit it. Gotta dance. Broadway rhythm, it's got me. Everybody dance, dance, dance. Oh, goody, I'll go home and get my panties. You go home and get your scanties, and away we'll go. Ooh. I'm off the gun to shuffle, shuffle off the buffalo. No, don't ask me. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance, madam, with you. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. That's 
so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever in the morning Fever all through the night Sun lights up the daytime Give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night Everybody's got a fever That's something you all know Fever is such a new thing Fever started long ago Now you've listened to my Reggie, I know you have us trapped with this contract, but would you actually perpetrate a fraud just to collect your $15,000? I'd do anything for $15,000. <laughs> no, I have an idea. What? Well, you cured Baby Sally when you were rehearsing your speech and you said, Dance, Baby Sally, dance! Baby Sally jumped out of her wheelchair and started to dance. You performed a miracle. You had the power to get her out of that wheelchair. So... Maybe you have the power to put her back in that wheelchair. <laughs> well, she only has to be paralyzed until the end of the show. Vivian, have you been sniffing that wheat germ again? Just a second. She's given me a better idea, Maud. After we've raised enough money to pay my fee, then we could... Well, you could bring baby Sally back out in the wheelchair, do the same speech again, and she'll get up and dance, and then we'll recreate the whole miracle on television. The... Hey, my recitation is dynamite. When will you see me rehearse it? We are paying you $15,000 for what? Well, that's my fee for the telethon. I have an ironclad contract with you lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, isn't it a little out of the ordinary to charge $15,000 to help a crippled child? Yes. I was going to charge twenty, but your cause touched my heart. <laughs> you old softy. Uh, <laughs> Maude, have you uh, memorized that beautiful speech I wrote no, for you? No, Reggie, I might as well tell you I'm not going to do it. I don't like it. It makes me sound like a, a combination of Amy Semple McPherson and the Kingfish. It's perfect. I mean, that's how you get people to give money for a kid in a wheelchair. Make them feel guilty they can walk. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, Arthur's number. Nothing but feeling No one has more feelings Than his feelings for you The country doctor Though stooped and bent and gray of hair The country doctor's always there Through rain and sleet and blowing snow The country doctor's on the go Through swollen rivers His horses swim and when help is needed For pregnant women <laughs> he quicks the whip, the pace to quicken Though he knows he'll be paid with only a chicken Feeling Whoa, whoa, whoa Feeling Whoa, whoa, whoa Feeling whoa. Well, Wasn't that something? I'll say it was something. It's the first time I have ever seen one horse's head followed by two horses' patooties. Uh, baby Sally said that since this is a comedy, she has something that she thinks is funny. Oh, <laughs> what is that, dear? Hmm? 
Experience. What? What is it, dear? <laughs> Philip, get her out of here. <laughs> what? What? We've got one minute to air. You got to rehearse your pitch. Look, Reggie, just, please, I... Mark, please, just trust me. I mean, you got to do it at least once before you know we go oh, on the air. All right? All right. All right. Well, Mark, make them feel that their money will give you the power to bring about a miracle. Hmm? Here, now just stand right, right here, right here. All right? Okay. 